All right, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Rakwan Kodesh. Next, I would like to give a double honor to the others, GMS, and peace and blessing to you. Kantu, Akimate, that's pushing this truth. Shalom, Yahweh, Bashem, Mashah, Barakadam, to the elect. So, as you see on the top, it says uh, 4,000 fed. All right, so we're going to start from the first um, verse. It reads, In those days, the multitude being very great. Right? This is the book of Mark 8 and 1. In those days, the multitude being very great and having nothing to eat, Yahweh shall call his disciples unto him and saith unto them, I have compassion on the multitude because they have now been with me three days and have nothing to eat. <laughs> so this goes to show you that the multitude of these people, hey, they could possibly be of the one third because they was in that spirit of uh fasting all right and we're in that same spirit today man all right all right we're staying away because what fasting does is it keeps you away from eating you know things that are abominable you know according to the dietary law or just according to the law to the law or even according to the lord himself all right there's certain things that are abominable all right certain foods that you should be staying away from all right let's say uh Verse 3, and if I send them away fasting to their own houses, they will faint by the way, for diverse for diverse of them came from fall. Diverse of them came from fall. All right, how do you say that word? Verse 4, and his disciples answered him, From whence can a man satisfy these men with bread here in the wilderness? And he asked them, how many loaves have ye? And they said seven. And he commanded the people to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves and gave thanks and break. And gave to his disciples to set before them. And they did set them before the people. So see, Yahweh's faith was, was heavy, man. Was 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 very high. He had great faith. Even Yahweh himself. All right, the disciples, the people that followed him. Because uh, recently, um, there was bread on the floor, and I broke it, and I gave some to the birds, and um, a group of them came. They was just, once I, once I had left and turned my back, that's when they started eating it. So, you know, um, at times, you know, sometimes even animals, they're afraid of humans, but, you know, at the end of the day, you got to treat them nice because, you know, when we're around animals, it's like, or oh, even um, sheep, the Lord compared his people to sheep, feed my sheep, you know. He said, my sheep hear my voice. So they wasn't scared to be around him at that time. But in this time now, hey, our people know you. How sure he ain't coming back as a man of, um, he ain't coming back as a man. He said, I, I will not meet thee as a man. So our people, listen, you got to fear the Lord, you know. The Lord is greatly to be feared. The scripture tells you this, man. Let me see if I could get that. Because when I broke that bread and gave some to the birds, man, you know. They was um they was in the air just waiting, you know, by the pole. They was just waiting until I, I left, kind of. But um, the animals they ain't gonna be afraid of us in the kingdom, man. That's just happening now, cause you know humans, bro. People are nuts, bro. They're crazy. They'll commit so much genocide and just they'll they'll commit suicide. They'll do crazy things, man. That's why animals they kind of fear humans, and it don't matter who you are. They'll they'll fear you, man. Because, bro, there's sick people out here, man. There's sick people out here, and, you know, our people need cleansing, man. Our people need to be healed, you know. But, um, let me see if I can find that. All right, the Lord is greatly to be fed, man. Let me see if I can find that. But, yeah, going back to the scripture, it says, um, And they had a few small fishes, and he blessed them and commanded to set them also before them. So they did eat. And were filled, and they took up the broken meat that was left, seven baskets, and they that had eaten were about four thousand. And he sent them away, and straightway he entered into a ship with his disciples and came into the parts of Dalmotha. You see, so how you see that that uh, that place or that that, that word? Um, but uh, I guess that's a certain city town or whatever you call it. But um, point being, he. He entered into a ship after he had fed the multitude, right? He entered into a ship with his disciples, so that's how you know miracles were still being done afterwards, all right? And it came down to having faith, you know, those that entered into the ship, which were the disciples, because it's also about that, too, you know? 
back in Noah's Ark, how only eight souls were saved, man. You know, roughly paraphrasing. That's the spirit, because um, even Abraham, I believe he had, like, he had eight children. I don't know, eight sons, but, you know, it all makes sense. The number eight is powerful, too. The number 12, number seven, all, all these numbers, man. All right, they mean something. All right. Point being is that, you know, there's going to be miracles being made, you um, know, Known unto unto the people, and they're gonna fit. They're gonna know that this this isn't just coming from a natural, uh, regular human. No, it's just coming from the Lord Himself. All right, Yahusha. All right. So let me see what else I can get. Hold on. Yeah, because. You know, um, like I said, um, we ought to fear the Lord, man, all right? He fought, he fed the multitudes, man. It says how he took the seven loaves and gave thanks and break it and gave to his disciples to set before them. And they set them before the people, you see? So, you know, the disciples um, gave food to the people. They set them before the people, you see? They being the disciples, they set them before the people, you know, so... This is what they did, man. All right, the disciples of the Lord were 12, so they was able to, you know, hey, possibly they had some kind of super speed, able to feed multitudes, you know, they had certain capabilities too, man. The disciples had, you know, God-like power. All right, the Lord was with his disciples, man. These were men of the Lord, all right? Yeah, I was shy, you know, even uh, the men of old, man, they moved with fear. All right, but Yahweh, he, 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 man, he was moving different, man. He had that boldness, that austerity, that sternness, all right? And as it reads here, this is the book of Psalm. And then, yo, I keep hearing this damn dog barking upstairs. I don't know if it's coming from upstairs or downstairs, but for you weak motherfuckers out there, man, that you have puppies at home, man, you think a puppy's going to protect you in that time, man? Listen. Not even a pit bull or, or whatever you call it is going to save you in that time, man. It talks about how in that day, as if a man did flee from a, you know, from a lion and a bear met him or leaned his hand upon a wall and a serpent bit him. So, you know, <laughs> so not only are you going to be fleeing from a lion, but then you're going to meet a bear and then you return him back home from an injury or whatever and you lean upon you know, and you lean your hand upon a wall and a serpent bites you, a snake, you know? Yeah, because that day is going to be a day of darkness. Your puppy, your little fishbowl, tank, your, your fish ain't going to see none of that, man. So for you weak guys out there, man, the Lord is not done with y'all, man. You know, like Apostle Tal said, it's irritating being around niggas that are weak, you know? Yeah. You know, just weak in the spirit, have no... Yeah, you know, a lot of you dudes, man, that's why y'all was shy. He moved with compassion, man. He he had boldness within his spirit, man. A lot of you guys, you know, you, you, you have no sternness, no austerity. There's no strength within your spirit, within your soul, man. A lot of you guys are just weak, very slothful in, in business. You can't be like that, man. All right. But, hey, as I read in Psalm 89 and, uh, and 7, it reads... God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints and to be had in reverence of all them that are about him. Yeah, all the angels that are round about um Yahweh that are about Yahweh, man. All right. The angels in camp of above, you know, them that fear the Lord. So, you know, the point being is that even the angels fear the Lord, all right? So, for you weak guys out there that's claiming to be this and that, listen, a lot of you guys, man, your mouths are going to be shut real soon, man. All right. But yes, yeah, back to the book of Psalm. This is Psalm uh, 96 now. This is Psalm 96 and 4. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Yeah. You know. And that's talking about, you know, the, um, the nation of Israel. Because, you know, we were gods once in the past too, but, you know. Because we know the heathens, they, they're nothing but false gods. They truly ain't gods, man. The only people that are gods or that could be gods are the Israelites, are us. As a people, all right? It's us. Not these other nations at all. 
these other nations are gonna get consumed. They're gonna be trodden down. All right. And as I read here too, and um, the Book of Psalm right here, and the Book of Psalm, uh, one twelve. Yeah, you say prosperity of the one who fears the Lord. Exactly. And this is what's coming to those that fear the Lord. Prosperity, wellness, wealth, health. You know? Just a lot of good things, man. The Lord is going to keep you protected. He's going to keep you secured. He's going to keep you safe. And this is what's coming to, to the nation of Israel, to those that fear the Lord. The only ones that could fear the Lord or that do fear the Lord is, is you Israelites. It's us. Us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans Our so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans We are the ones that fear the Lord That's why the Lord is a jealous power Alright So this is what's coming, man You know Alright To those that fear the Lord Alright Riches, gold, silver Whatever you Desire the Lord's gonna give that unto you, especially if you fear Him. Or right, it's not only about being an Israelite, but it's about fearing the Lord. And as I read here, this is Psalm one twelve and one. Praise you, the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth Yahweh, that the light of greatly in His commandments. Exactly, man. All right. And like I said, to those that fear the Lord, they ain't gonna do something that's sinister or something that's wicked. A lot of you people, you do wicked stuff, man. People have sex with animals. You see it all over the news, man. People get tattoos. You know, people carry weapons, all types of weapons, and they, they involve themselves with, you know, um, four kinds of manners of wickedness and, you know, sort of, this kind of nature, this sort of nature is just off, man. People, you know, you know, the, these fleshly things that they do is just wicked, man. You know, they party a lot. They celebrate all types of wicked holidays that are supposed to be celebrated, you know. According to this world, man, you know, they think that this is cool and shit, man, but it ain't. You know, you people are going to be trying to You people are going to, you know, get get annihilated. You're going to be consumed in that fire. Because, hey, it speaks about how the Lord is a consuming fire, man. All right, so all you people that, you know, you celebrating these holidays of this world, you're going to be thrown down. You're going to be put down. Because the holidays of this world, ain't nothing holy about them, man. So, you know, keep doing your business. Because once that Passover come, that's when, and even in the midst of Jacob's trouble, y'all going, you people going to catch up, but the like, we're going to be protected. I don't want to solve a part of that number. I'm part of that number, you know, as well as you brothers, but, you know, that's watching you, Akim, you know, that's out there pushing the, the 100% truth, you know, that's that's out there pushing the, um, this truth, you know, this truth of ours, man, starting with the elders, but, um. Yeah, a lot of guys, even in this truth, you know, even in this thing of ours, the, you know, mentioning, the, you know, going into these other camps, you know, they don't even have elders, man. They want to be that guy on the on the high chair, you know, on the high seat, man. But but you guys, man, you guys are, are going down, man. You know, you're going to get put down, man. You know, all these guys claiming to be something, man. They want to be, you know, chief. Priest, high priest, this and that, like, no, nah, that shit is corner, man. You know, you know they want to be uh, they want to be called Malak. You know, hey, what up, king? You know they want to be called king on this side. You know, instead of just being a servant, a humble servant, they want to be called king. They want to be called this and that. The Lord isn't dealing with that, man. You know, you guys that want. You know, names for yourselves Just just give yourself a Hebrew name And that's it man Keep it simple you know But what you find out about A lot of these guys When um So like yeah hey, That's just me putting my phone to charge But yeah what you find out With a lot of these guys Is they want that They want titles man They want They want you know They want to be the ones To get exalted They want the honor And the praise on this side And that shit is going on man You know You're not gonna make it Into the kingdom Being like that man Especially not on the first round. I mean, no, not not on the first go round. You know, you gonna you gonna be like the last one to make it, man. You know, you're gonna be like one of the last ones to make it if you're in that spirit, man. Of you know, wanting a title for yourself and you know, just you know want to be praised by men. Scripture speak of this, man. You know, you know. Let me see if I can find that.
O'Connor tells you this in the book of John. This is John 12 and 43. It reads, For they loved the praise of men more than the praise of God. Exactly. <laughs> you know? And this is one of the main reasons why when I come to this truth, you know, one of the first things I do when I, you know, wake up is I praise the Lord, man. <laughs> you know, and then I move forward to doing my lesson. You know, and I don't even eat like a huge breakfast. I, I don't, I barely eat in the mornings, you know, because I usually like to fast, you know, so I might just have my oatmeal, my oats, or whatever, yogurt, or just some water, something simple, you know, nuts and seeds, you know, something simple, but a lot of guys, man, they just, they all over the place, man, they can't, they don't know how to keep it simple, you know, and they don't even know how to start their prayer, I mean, their day off with prayer, man. You know, a lot of dudes is just off. Oh, that's why you can't be following uh, a lot of guys, man. Oh, it talks about that. Um, uh, follow after their own righteousness. Hold on. So called, you know, because all our righteousness has filthy rags. But let me see if I can find that. Oh, let me just put own righteousness, and then this should pop up. Oh, yeah, see, it's then the book of Romans. Romans, what is that? Yeah, Romans 10 and 3, it reads, For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves into the righteousness of God. Exactly, so when you go... When you go out to the establish your own righteousness, it's going to seem to these people like it's a good thing you're doing, but it ain't, man. All right? Because all our righteousness is as filthy rags. So anything you put in out that seems to be righteous is nothing but a filthy rag. You know? Guys is setting up events. You know, that's 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 someone's, that's, that's, that's a guy's own righteousness. This dude's going out to set up his own event and telling the congregation and the people, hey, meet up at this time. That's that's this guy's own righteousness, you know. Pull up, boys, you know. Come here, you know. H O Y House of Israel claiming to be this and that, you know. Like, come on, you know the guy Sabak and then the chief Ephraim. All these dudes, man. They 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 about Israel. They they put on as you know. They don't. Scripture talks about put on as they like, but these guys, what they do is um. You know they uh. They're not putting on the new man, you know. You have to dwell within the inner man. You have to, you know? But a lot of guys, it's not the fact that they're putting on as this and that. They're not putting on as that like that all. And what they are a part of is they're part of um that Israel that's not of the leg, basically. All right? All Israel's not of Israel. That's simply what they are. All right? Chief Ephraim, Zabak, H-O-R. IUIC, especially IUIC and ISUBK, those are sellouts, man. Those guys are done. You know? These zealots, you know, these these dudes claiming to be Israel. They say Shalom Yasha Allah, but they ain't really about Israel, man. You know? They give themselves these titles, man. They want to be the ones exalted, man. You know? But uh, that's the point, you know. That's the point on that. They want to establish their own righteousness, man. They want to go. On, they want to go to cookouts and stuff, you know, and do these things, man. But they, they don't. They, if you're a guy that's doing cookouts and you want to meet up everywhere here and there, you, you know this guy, man. He ain't into the scriptures too much, man. He don't know how to keep the holy. He don't know how to keep the Shabbat holy, man. The the, the Sabbath day holy. That's a guy that's totally off, most likely, man. Hey, but with that being said, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rukh, Next double honor to the others of GMS, and peace and blessings to you. I'll come out there, that's pushing this truth. Shalom, Yahweh Shem, Shah, Barakatam, Tzayavak. I also want to say Shalom, Wabarakim, Labakarim, Shah, Yasha Allah.